Hey guys, this is Frank here with RC Foam Fighters and I got my uh, Goblin out again. Um, as you can see, I did change the color scheme a little bit because I was having trouble seeing it last time. So I put some bright orange on the top and I put some bright orange on the dots on the bottom. So hopefully it'll help me make it more visible. Um, and then this time I ended up putting the GPS inside so hopefully we can get a speed clock. It might not be 100% accurate today because it is pretty windy so I'll probably get a good tailwind. But I'm curious to see how fast it goes. Um, one other thing is, is I changed out the motor mount. I got the aftermarket one they sell, uh, the aluminum motor mount. Because it was made out of plastic, it was pretty uh, grim. So I wanted to put a stronger motor mount in there. So it's got the aluminum motor mount and just those other little modifications. Go ahead and throw it up in the air, see how fast it goes. All right, guys, I had Paul hand launch me because it is windy today. And I wasn't sure how it was going to go. And actually, it was a good thing he did. Because the launch did kind of go crazy. I'm glad I had my hands on the sticks. Man, that thing's booking. Yeah, I lost you there for a little bit. Man, the wind is actually tossing this plane around quite a bit. Yeah, that was a strong gust. I'm sure stronger up top. It's down on the ground, it probably fell over 15 miles an hour, I'd say. It's pretty heavy. I thought it wouldn't be as sensitive to the wind. Look like you're ripping though when you're going with the wind. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the color scheme, the camera's having a harder time focusing. The white just blends in when you far out. Yeah, even with the coloring I put on there, it's still, man, it is pretty gusty. <laughs> yeah. The orientation's a little better for me today than the first time, but it's just got such a thin wing on it. When it gets in that profile, the bottom looks pretty good. This one's pretty touchy in the wind, man. Does it? Seems like it wants to climb and bob up and down on me. But it is pretty gusty. It's not like a constant. It definitely flies way different in the wind than it does when it's in combat. There you go. Yeah. Looks like it's ripping pretty good, though. This thing definitely carries its speed pretty good. Would you say it weighs two pounds, five ounces? No, two pounds, five ounces, but I still haven't put any FPV gear in it, so I'm going to end up doing that here pretty soon. And I'm sure it's going to bring it up over two and a half pounds. I definitely like the power system that's in it, though. It's got plenty of power. I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down and then try and bring it in. I'm coming with you. Yeah. You want to go towards the river? Alright man, it's definitely a, a different experience flying this plane in the wind than when it's calm. Um, 
it seems more touchy than some of, even some of the modern ball scratch builds. It seems like you want to change altitude a lot. Yeah, you got a lot shorter wind cord on that than some of the other planes. And it is very strong wind yeah, today. And it's not constant wind today. No, I'm sure it's stronger up high. <laughs> It was still a blast to fly. Well, let's go check out let's the GPS. See, yeah, go get it and see how fast it went. Okay, guys, um, got a speed clock on it. Looks like with the tailwind, we were getting 141.7 miles an hour. That's cruising pretty good, man. Yeah, it is. That's so, all. Especially, this is the same power system that Paul is just uh, trying out on his uh, Demon. So yeah. it's the same one I had on it before. It's the F90 Pro, 1300 kV, and it's running an old 6S battery, 1800 milliamp.